Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of our Kokni series. I am Chef Elvis and today we will be making a very famous Kokni seafood dish which is the Malwani fish curry. For this dish, I will be using 250 grams of Dara fish which is also known as thread fish in English and it comes from the salmon family. For the dish, I will be using a sprig of curry leaves, one small onion, one tomato, quarter piece of fresh coconut, one tablespoon of ginger garlic paste, one tablespoon of malwani masala, one tablespoon of fish masala, four dried red chilies, four pieces of dried kokum, quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder, half a teaspoon of red chili powder, one teaspoon of cumin powder, two tablespoons of coconut powder dissolved in water, and a handful of coriander leaves. So let's get cooking. For the base, I'll be blending up some ingredients. For that, I'll roughly chop up an onion, roughly chop up the tomato, and I'll chop up the coconut. So over here I have a blender jar. I'll add up all these ingredients. And to this, I'll add in the red chilies. And I'll make a fine paste out of it. So now our mix is ready. Next step, I'll take 4 tablespoons of vegetable oil in a pot. And I'll heat it up. To that, I'll add a sprig of curry leaves. So now as the curry leaves are getting heated up, to that, I'll add in the ginger garlic paste. And I'll cook it up. So now, as our ginger garlic paste is turned brown, I'll add in the ground mix. So now I'll cook it till the oil separates from the mix. So now, as the mixture is cooked, I'll add in the dry ingredients. I'll add in one tablespoon of malwani masala, one tablespoon of fish masala. Quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder, half a teaspoon of chili powder, and one teaspoon of cumin powder. So now I'll mix all the ingredients together and let it cook. So now, as it is cooking, I'll add the coconut powder which was dissolved in water to this mixture and I'll add in a cup of water mix it up well and let it cook so now to this mixture I'll add in a couple of kokum pieces and I'll cook it on no heat. So now as our curry is simmering since 5 minutes, I'll take our main ingredients which is the fish and I'll poach it in the curry for 10 minutes. So now I'll add in some salt to it Add the salt as per your requirement as the fish also will be having a lot of salt in it and finally I'll add in some chopped coriander 
I'll put a lid and I'll cook it for 10 minutes. So now as the fish curry is ready, I'll transfer this into a serving bowl. So this is our recipe for the Marwani fish curry. You can have it with some steamed rice and some chawal ki roti. If you like this recipe, give it a thumbs up, share and subscribe to our channel. See you guys for the next recipe.